Okay, today I'm going to show you how to do a ti uh, timing, engine timing on a 2011 Sonata Turbo 2.0. Uh, engine's out of the car, I'm just replacing it, uh, but I'm going to show you the timing mark, so if you're doing it in the car, you're replacing the chain or, or the, uh, the um, guides or whatever you're going to do. This, this is already at top dead center. Um, with the timing cover on, let me see, let me show you. With the timing cover on, you're going to look for the top dead center mark, which is right there. Let me show you. It's right there. Now, it's going to be somewhere like that. I'll show you on the cover. Because you want to get the, the engine atop that center before you start taking it apart. And that pulley is going to line up to that top dead center mark. See the T right there with the white? It's going to line up to that. Now you're going to turn it and you're going to make sure that you're not, you're not at bottom dead center. And how you know that is, well, you'll probably have the valve cover off. There's two ways to check it. You can see the valves in the front, the number one valve. See, they're sticking up. The lobe is up. Lobe is up. I mean, it's, you know, it's up. It's not down. It's out. It's released. In other words, there's no pressure on them. That means it's at number one, top dead center. See, see them, both of them? That means the valves are closed, and it's on compression stroke. If it was, if, if you turn that and it lined up and was bottom dead center, these valves, some of these valves would be open. In other words, it's on a, um, um, it's on an intake stroke, it's not on compression. It's on an exhaust, okay? So now, you make sure, and another way is basically, um, let me get a screwdriver. Hold on. Is, top dead center, you see? The, the piston's at the top. See, that's all it goes. Now, if you go to the second one and you put it in there, see, it goes all the way down. It means it, so if it was all the way down like that in the first one, that means you're not on the compression stroke. You got to do it another 180 degrees when you're on your um, top dead center. Okay, now, I didn't take this chain off, and the chain's going to have colored color links. Uh, mine are not matching because, like I said, I didn't take it off. I didn't install a brand new chain. I made my own marks. One of the marks happens to be there, but the other mark is off. That doesn't mean the timing's off, all right? So basically, you're gonna line up the links. On a brand new chain, you're gonna line up the links. Um, if you're not gonna, let's say you're gonna reuse the chain for some reason, then you make your own marks like I just did. All right, you make your mark here. And I think it's okay. With that, with that link, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, it's 12 to the other one, and you make your other mark. That's 12. Now down here, then you're gonna go from from that mark, right? Now you're gonna go one, the, not the mark itself, the next one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Your 30 link, links down, and sure enough, there is a mark on the on the crank right there, and you put a mark there. Now, if you're using a new chain, then it's gonna come with marks, and what you're gonna just do is line up the mark here, the color link there, color link there, and the color link there and you're good to go. But if not, you just you just make your own um, marks, assuming that the timing didn't jump. But if it did jump, just count the links like I just told you. Okay, and the same for the oil pump one. All right, the oil pump has got, it's got from, from this mark to this mark, we'll go this way because it's shorter, all right? You can see there's a little dimple there and a little dimple there. But now, like, if, let's say if the timing jump and it's off and you want to make sure, and you're reusing the chain, you will count from that color link, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. You will make your mark, 
So 14 lengths this way, you make your mark there, and you make your mark there, make sure it lines up with the dimple, the, the, the line there, and the little dimple there. And then you're all set, okay? That's it, but if you get a new change and everything, then it makes it easier because they line up that they already have the, the, the marks on them. But if not, you just count the change like I just told you. Okay, this is Motor Car Nut 2020. Please subscribe, like the video, or have any questions, just, you know, I'll leave them at the bottom and I'll answer them as soon as I can. And I appreciate it, guys. Thank you very much. Bye.